Nation of Fit and Ten, it is day 15, and I sent out your numbers to you last night. So you should have those. A lot of you, for most of you, your numbers didn't change. For some of you, they did. And uh, this is mainly, this is largely based on uh, where different people are based on if they did the challenge before with me or not, okay? So uh, if your numbers didn't change, don't worry. Uh, listen, it's about following something that's consistent over time, right? Will your numbers change? Yes, of course they will change. They typically do change every two weeks, um, but not always. So um, just remember this. If, if you were to follow your original numbers, okay, so your week one numbers, all the way through the challenge and follow everything else, you would still make significant progress. You would still make significant progress. Okay, so... Does making the numbers, uh, does changing the numbers make a difference? Of course, it's going to make a difference because it's going to be less energy. But uh, but that's not the primary reason I do it. Okay. All right. Um, calendar for scans. Uh, uh, that'll be up. I'm going to try to get it done today or tomorrow. Okay. So the calendar for your your um, your body analysis scans, your second scan is coming up. And I want to remind you that if you have not seen much of a weight change on the scale, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, just come in for your scan. Let's see how you did. Okay. Um, made a note here. Are people getting their numbers? Are people? I don't know what I wrote. I don't know what I wrote. So I'm just gonna ignore it. Okay. Maybe it'll come to me here in a second. And what I meant by that. Um, all right, so let's get more into your feedback, okay? Because I am definitely behind in this. Um, okay, so I touched upon a little bit about, uh, there was a question about foods and hormones. So I touched a little bit upon that, right? Carbohydrates and insulin, protein and, and hunger hormones. Uh, carbohydrates also eliciting more hunger hormone. This is why typically if you just eat carbohydrates, like if you just ate, especially simple carbohydrates, you're going to just... It's like you, you'll just feel ravenous. You'll never feel full. Right? So, um, because it helps to elicit more of that hunger hormone. Um, you know, one thing I cannot uh, emphasize enough is volume of food. Volume of food will hit those uh, stretch. There's a fly flying around here. They will, they will, um, sorry, having a volume of food will you know, cause your stretch reflexors in your stomach to to sense this, right? And this is gonna provide you with a sense of fullness as well, right? So this is one one of many reasons why I tell you to eat real whole food because it's real whole food in general is um, is less uh, calorie dense, right? It's less calorie dense. Okay, this person writes, I've been alternating cardio slash strengthening and feeling and feel slightly sore but happy. Is a weekly rest day necessary at this point or can I just keep alternating? Is a weekly rest day necessary at this point? Yes, so I would uh, definitely take a rest day, okay? Take a rest day, don't, don't just keep going. So the program originally is three weight training sessions per week, three cardio sessions per week, which, so you got seven days, right? That's six days that you're working out, so you got one day off. That was the original uh, way that I wanted it to be. You can have more days off and just double up on your cardio, uh, sorry, double up on your, so do a weight training and a cardio, don't double up your cardio, but double your, do your weight training and your cardio together in one day, that's totally fine. So you can do that, and give yourself more rest days, I'm totally fine with that, okay? All right. More questions here. Name something specific you can improve on for the following. This person writes, everything at the gym is new for me. I am hoping to get to the point where I can add more weights. Okay, uh, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Um, you are at a point right now where things are just gonna go like this, okay? You're at a point where you will get spoiled in terms of your strength. Uh, but before that point, just before that point, of course you have to learn how to do the movements, just learning the mechanics, just just being able to get the mechanics down and um, 
and 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 the right control is at least through your first few workouts is going to make you feel like you're getting stronger so you know and whether it's that or you're actually the muscles actually getting stronger well, it's probably both all these things are going to play and you're going to see a, a, a really good strength increase especially on your compound movements those movements that that involve many muscles right which makes sense right if you've got many muscles and each of them are strengthening up a little bit you're going to see an overall big change in strength so things like squats and presses and deadlifts um, rows you're going to see more strength increase on these than let's say i don't know like a, a bicep curl or an overhead tricep extension or something like that okay something that's that's more isolated to, to a muscle group uh, this is the first time I've ever used a weight rack, etc. So I'm really just trying to figure it all out. Yeah, totally fine. This is great. And you know what? And, and kudos to you all who are doing this because it's a, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge endeavor. It's, 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 I can imagine it to be super intimidating. Obviously I've been doing, I started training with weights when I was nine. So, you know, um, it's, uh, it's definitely my area of comfort. So kudos to you for, you know, stepping into an area that you are, completely unfamiliar with things to help muscle recovery lol i'm a little sore okay honestly getting in your calories so your food getting i guess i should just say just getting your numbers but let me be let me be more clear here there's three things getting in your calories with enough protein and enough sleep those are the three things so why enough calories because if you don't get enough calories and assuming you're getting your protein but you don't get your calories then your protein is going to be used for fuel and not for recovery. Why sleep? Because this is when primarily the body goes through its, its repair process. Okay. Those are the three things. Yeah. Can, you know, Epsom salt bath help can doing some cardio. If your legs are sore, help getting some blood flow, these types of things. Yes. They can make a difference. Can stretching help? Yes. To some degree, they'll take away some of the symptoms. But the, we're really talking about the recovery, and the recovery happens through the nutrition and the, the actual uh, resting. Okay, so enough calories, so get all your macros in. All right, this, one, this is another reason why I want you to get all your macros. Okay, and obviously one of those macros is protein. So your protein, your macros, so, you, I, like, so I like to say protein calories, right? Get your protein, get your calories, all your calories, which is all your macros and then get adequate amount of sleep. What's adequate amount of sleep? Depends on the person, depends on the quality, but I would say at least seven hours, okay? All right. Can I go for one more here? Um, any scientific improvement for the following week? Eating more carbs. Okay, not eating enough carbs. Okay, yes. So again, you wanna get these, you wanna get these carbohydrates in. As I've gone through, there's many reasons, right? These are your main fuel source. They are going to contribute to your total calories, which is gonna to contribute to keeping your BMR up. Obviously, it's gonna help you with your recovery. It's gonna help you with your energy when you're working out. Also, you're in a deficit day to day. So if you increase that deficit more, you're only gonna end up complaining <laughs> sooner than later about how hungry you are, okay? There's all kinds of reasons, okay? Right? There is a there is a method to this madness. There's a reason for there are so many reasons why we're doing what we're doing in this, okay? Uh, name something specific you need help with. Not drinking alcohol. Yes, okay. So this is an easy one. Just don't. You know, you have to go and get that. I'm assuming that you're probably pouring it for yourself. Maybe you have somebody pouring it for you. Still, you have to lift that up and put it in your mouth. Well, I don't know, maybe you've got somebody lifting it up, putting it in your mouth for you. You can prevent yourself from swallowing it, okay? So you don't have to drink it. Just don't do it. Just don't. Just tell yourself not to. Just don't. Okay? Just don't drink alcohol. You don't have to. And if you know you can't or you shouldn't, then just don't. It's really that easy, isn't it? I think it's that easy, okay? All right. Uh, message of the day. It's a very, very basic one. And you've heard me say it already. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Just be consistent. Just do everything I'm telling you to do. If you notice, nothing's really extreme, right? Like you're getting lots of food. Does it pro probably feels like you're getting a lot of food, right? You're getting carbohydrates. You're getting fats. You know, I was crazy getting protein. I don't know if anybody enjoys protein. I enjoy protein. Um, you're not exercising excessively. 
right? I don't think anybody's gonna say you're, you're exercising excessively four and a half hours per week is not really excessive by any means, right? But just follow it through day in, day out, day in, day out. Every day we're digging away. Be consistent with this, okay? This is what matters. It's not these fine details of is there a magic food or should I cut this food out or you know, um, should I take this supplement? It's not that. I'm telling you it's not. Can things like this make a difference? Yes, how much? This much, right? Why not focus on the stuff that makes this much difference? Okay, why not, right? Okay, positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself and for the love of God. Give some gratitude, I'll talk to you all very soon. See you guys.